While in today's game, strike partnerships have become less and less frequent, when you look back through the football history books, for a while the tactic of two attacking players was all the rage, with those most devastating acting as the catalyst behind some of the game's most successful sides. Way back in the late 1950s, it was Alfredo Di Stefano and Puskas who together dominated football, including in their 1960 European Cup final win, where Puskas scored four goals and Di Stefano bagged three as they won 7-3. In the late 90s, you saw the likes of Dwight York and Andy Cole for Man United. The pair bagged 53 goals between them in the 98-99 season and were pivotal with the Red Devils became the first English side to win the treble. Then in the early 2000s you had the likes of Frenchman Thierry Henry and Dutchman Dennis Bergkamp for Arsenal, who combined effortlessly for goals which most notably helped the side achieve its invincible season in 03-04. But one of the most recent that devastated defences, somewhat surprisingly, was the partnership between Luis Suarez and Daniel Sturridge for Liverpool. This is the tale of SAS. The the unlikely partnership that took Liverpool to the brink of Premier League glory. Suarez had been the first to move to Merseyside after arriving from Ajax in a 22.8 million deal in January 2011. His remarkable record in the Netherlands, which included a 49 goal season in 09-10, had attracted the Reds' interest to secure his signature. Initially signed as a partner for Fernando Torres, the Spaniard's subsequent departure in the same window saw the Uruguayan pushed into a front two with Andy Carroll, who signed from Newcastle on the same dramatic day of big money moves in the Premier League. Joining for a huge fee, it was undoubtedly a rushed and panicked signing, and it quickly became evident that the tall, bullish Geordie was an awkward fit at Anfield. His first half season was disappointing and his first full campaign was marginally better, cropping up with a couple of noteworthy goals but all in all not enough to convince many Liverpool fans. Suarez on the other hand had shown his worth it seemed. During his first half season he was one of the best players and helped Liverpool go from 12th in the league in mid-January to finish 6th. And then in the summer he would catch the eye again with his performances for Uruguay at the 2011 Copa America where he was named player of the tournament. The next season was a disappointing one by his standards, added to by incidents on the pitch. Despite these though, from a footballing perspective he was still convincing enough of his talents, including a memorable hat-trick against Norwich. And so by the time the next season rolled around, Liverpool had a new manager in Brendan Rodgers, who made the decision to place his faith in Suarez and move Andy Carroll along. After a strong start for the Uruguayan, Rodgers went in search of a new striker partner for the fast-improving Suarez, returning to one of his former sides, Chelsea, and securing a 12 million deal for Sturridge in January 2013. It was a surprising move, the 23 year old had been regarded as a huge prospect after leaving Man City for Chelsea, but struggled for opportunities in West London and was often used out of position at Stamford Bridge. It was unclear whether he could reach the levels many thought he could at the start, but he quickly answered that. The goal on his debut was followed with two more in the consecutive games, and by the end of the campaign 10 goals in 14 league games was a fine return as Sturridge hit the ground running. Meanwhile for Suarez, while he ended the campaign with 30 goals in all competitions, as their partnership began to show real promise with the connection between the two growing in strength. Off the back of the previous campaign there was positivity amongst the Liverpool fans that the 13-14 campaign could be even better but nobody could have expected what would come during that season. Initially it would just start with Sturridge, with Suarez banned for the first five games after the biting incident with Ivanovic. In his absence, Sturridge took centre stage, scoring a hat-trick of winning goals as Liverpool began the season with consecutive 1-0 wins. Suarez's return came at Sunderland in late September, and it was the launchpad to a superb season with the SAS truly born, with the Uruguayan netting two on his return, with each coming from Sturridge assists after the England forward had opened the score scoring on Weir side. This was just a sign of things to come. Sturridge racked up eight goals from his first nine Premier League appearances of the season, while Suarez's own goal scoring exploded. Of note was a match against West Brom, who were on the end of a spectacular hat-trick from Suarez before Sturridge added an impressive fourth. Then Suarez's sensational season continued with a run of ten goals across just four games in December, including a stunning four-goal haul against Norwich. Operating intuitively on the same footballing frequency, the almost telepathic tandem of Suarez and Sturridge were utterly devastating, alongside a young, exciting Raheem Sterling and with a veteran Steven Gerrard pulling the strings from a deeper role. Together, they blew teams away as Liverpool charged towards the title. As it turned out, we complemented each other very well, Suarez said in his autobiography. It's hard for defenders when there are two players who are mobile. 
if you have someone like Daniel who moves well, who's quick, who finishes chances well, then that makes space for me and vice versa. And there's no doubt the sight of the two in conjoined celebration became a familiar one. Liverpool's title challenge however thudded to a halt. Gerrard's infamous slip against Chelsea handed the title initiative back to Man City before the club's collapse at Crystal Palace, more evidence of the defensive fragilities of an overachieving Liverpool side that had been carried by its attack. Yet Rodgers runners-up ended the season with 101 goals scored, more than half of which came from their formidable front two. Suarez would end the season with 31 league goals and the golden boot, as well as the PFA Player of the Year award. While Sturridge scored a career best of 21 league goals, the first time two teammates had finished first and second outright in the race for the golden boot. Their partnership came to an end that summer however, as Suarez set sail for Barcelona and completed a £75 million move. Sturridge remained a key part of Liverpool's plans moving forward, but reoccurring injuries problems prevented him from reaching those same levels again. The pair were teammates at the Reds for just an 18 month spell, but in that time we saw them combine to an unforgettable goal scoring effect that will undoubtedly live long in the memory.